Hello beautiful people, welcome. This is Majesty Sussex Report, I'm Antonio, and it's an absolute pleasure to have you here. Thank you for spending some of your time with us. And we begin with a big happy birthday to Prince Archie. From here at Majesty Sussex Report, we send Prince Archie a very, very, very happy birthday. And hopefully he's having tons of fun with his mom and dad and grandma and um, sister and friends and, and so on. And having a fantastic, fantastic day surrounded by his loved ones and um, some fun things that he enjoys doing. Also, in addition, as in previous years, there's a charity component to the celebrations and um, the Sussex squad, uh, everyone that's involved in this community that is part of this community, um, we are raising funds as we've done in previous years around this time um, to celebrate Prince Archie's birthday and Princess Elizabeth's birthday also um, this year. Uh, the Sussex Squad, we're raising funds to um, between May 6th and uh, February 28th, 2025. So we have a long time. And this, this is for the, um, in, in association with the um, Invictus Games in Vancouver. And um, so uh, as I'm just going to, going to read um, part, part of what is, is um, up, as, as the Sussex community events, Alongside global supporters, embarks on a journey to honor the Sussex family and the upcoming Invictus Games in Vancouver, Whistler 2025. Having secured the privilege to host the Invictus Game in Toronto 2017 and now in Vancouver, Whistler 2025, True Patriot Love continues its unwavering commitment to serving those who have served our nation. So the funds that are being raised are being raised for True Patriot Love. And for any um, of us Canadians, we know that True Patriot Love is part of our national anthem. So True Patriot Love. Uh, um, so it, it's, 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 it's a great um, name also. So it, it's taken out from part of um, or or the wording from the um, national the Canadian national anthem. So do um, donate. I I'm 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 doing my part also, and um, you can find the link to the fundraising and to the site uh, in uh, the description and also in the comment section. Okay, so I am sure that uh, by February. 28, 2025, the goal is to reach $200,000 and I'm sure we will reach it and hopefully surpass that. So this is just fantastic. This is one of the great things about being part of this community that um, we embody those um, values that the Sussexes also um, embody. So it's absolutely fantastic. All right, with that said, I, um, this episode, um, uh, I was thinking, as I said in the past uh, episode to actually go through some of the comments and, um, have a conversation. I haven't done that in, in a while. So it's about time. I will say that lately, I would say maybe within the last two weeks or so, I've been receiving some really bizarre and I don't even know whether to call it bizarre and I don't want to say it's interesting because I don't find these comments interesting at all um but peculiar um comments uh I, of, of course I I I intercept and and do my best so it, it, um they're not visible to to um to you but uh it, it's it's I mean, I am I'm I'm used to being called everything under the sun, um, uh, from making fun from the way I speak to 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 call to calling me a girly girly. I don't know if that's that that's supposed to be offensive. Listen, be an honor. Call me girly girly anytime you want. Um, to 
other things that 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 are quite um, of offensive, and and look, I don't, I I see it. I delete that block. I, it doesn't do much to me, right? It doesn't um, affect me. Uh, it, it's it's it's. I think I've gotten to that point where. At the beginning, I was like trying to understand why someone would say these things or, or um, take 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 precious time out of the, out of their existence to to write such vile things, and you know, at the beginning when I started this podcast um, or this channel, I thought, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna reason with 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 these people. I'm 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 gonna try and. And explain things because maybe you know they're coming from a place of um, uneducated ignorance. But soon I realized that um, they 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 just didn't it it wasn't intended for it to be uh, uh, an honest discussion, right? They they just find I I, I don't know it because I don't think it's joy. They define whatever it is, venom or whatever it is, um, in in writing these um, um, comments. So those ones don't really, you know, I just leave them and let them go. The, I find that they are increasingly becoming more and more toxic in the way um, they're being um, written and the things that they're actually saying. But also, some of it has become odd or or weird and it's sort of like I, I i don't quite understand where it's coming from or it doesn't make sense to me um and i'm going to post one and um and that's the only one i'm going to post because i want you to read it with me i want to try and understand because i i don't understand what this person is trying to convey to me uh, okay so the, the the reason why I'm I'm posting this and and I chose to block off um, part of the person's um, handle is is because I I'm not sure and this is the reason I'm asking um, so if this person um, at Jackie and then Duress um, is watching today's episode or today's podcast um, please message me and um, let me know like maybe this was written to. Majesty Sussex report um, by error or by mistake, because like this isn't this makes no sense for it to be written uh, about me or, or about this this channel. So it reads seems um, uh, YT stands for you there, and unless it 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 it's it's another. Um, but anyways, I'm going to read it that way seems you there have blocked me from joining royal sussex pod but will watch all sussex friendly pods for support i hope the sussex file lawsuit against you there for allowing hate channels and online bullying you there harassed sherry on pod and lots of minority pod supporting the Sussex, especially women of color. You there seems to be controlled by some racist. Now, none of that is a representation of me or of this channel. That is why I am trying to err on the side of logic here and maybe assume that this was meant for another channel or for someone else and maybe by error it was written or you wrote it on this channel now if this is no, was not written by error and it's meant i i i don't know what to say to you um because none of that represents um what this channel stands for and what I stand for. Um, I, I, I don't have the power to block anyone from joining Royal Sussex. I don't have anything to do with um, 
harassing Sherry on, uh, like, like nothing at all to do with me. Um, so I, I look, my, my, my mom is a, is a black woman. She's a woman, woman of color. So me harassing black women, I am a big supporter of anything of women period and of, um, black women and my, and minorities. I'm a minority. So I am really confused with this, um, comment or message. So Jackie, if, if you do see this, um, please send me a note. Um, just ex I, I mean, you don't need to explain much. You can just say, Oh, sorry, this wasn't meant for your, your channel. And that is great. You know, I'm it's, it's, it's buried and done. Um, but if by any chance you did mean for that message to be for this channel, I am confused and and I think you have the wrong the wrong perception, the wrong person, the wrong everything. So sorry about that. And um yeah, so this is this is I just wanted to post this one here. So um if Jackie does end up seeing this, um we can have a little bit of clarity, okay? So thank you. And um now let's let's move on with some of your other comments and my my reflections on them. A big thank you to each and every one of you that consistently engaged with the um, content, um, with your comments, um, with your encouragement, with um, liking the videos and the content. Uh, uh, each and every one of you, thank you. Each thing counts. It matters um, for the channel. And also, it matters for me. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's great to see comments of encouragement or that you liked the um, content. It, it's, it, it, it just, it is, it is food. You know what I mean? It is fuel and it um, motivates. So thank you so very much for engaging so consistently and um thank you thank you thank you Once again, thank you very, very much to each and every one of you. All right. So our first comment um, that I picked is from Connie Palmer. So Connie um, wrote, thank you, Antonio. Uh, sorry, I missed some of your podcasts. Connie, no need to apologize. Um, life gets busy and I absolutely appreciate your continuous support. You've always being amazing to the channel and um, always leaves amazing comments and very supportive and I love it and I appreciate it and anytime you're able to do it thank you thank you thank you so no need to apologize we're all good you're all good I, I'm just happy that there's so many um, you know supporters of this channel that uh, continuously um, write amazing comments and and um give me great feedback so thank you our next comment 
is from Cornelia. And Cornelia writes, Hi, Antonio. Imagine every, th- every time Harry and Meghan announcing something, UK media are crazy of jealous and envy. Um, because the British monarchy, the firm, their products are not popular um, than Meghan. As you know, the British products, known already for a long time, on the store or in the market, selling their products and brand. Megan come to her brand and, and lifestyle. Um, they are angry and competing um, with, with um, uh, Megan. You see how the British monarchy, the firm, explosive reaction of Megan launching her brand because Megan had more power and more strategy um, the way in which she launched her, um, um, pro- her, her product. Um, you see how lousy and crazy the monarchy are. Thank you, Antonio, and wonderful podcast. Cornelia, thank you, thank you, thank you. And listen, you are 100% on the money here, right? Same as um, uh, Marsha Williams also. It's, it's, it's the same sort of um, idea. Look, they, they, I don't think they quite understand that the status quo is not going to work. Right. There are still elements within the um, royalist and in regards to the UK media, for example, that are still very much um, reading or following that template of the uh, archaic sort of way of doing things. Right. They are using the same playbook that they've used before because it has worked. And to be quite honest, it still kind of works. I think if um, Megan didn't have that sort of media um, knowledge and training, if she wasn't an an actor, you know, an actress who 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 um, sort of sort of grew grew up. Um, a bit in that environment and have an understanding of publicity and and all of that, I think they would have gotten away with with most of what they have been doing, right? Also, one another thing in 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 favor um, of and for Megan is is us, right? This community that has said, hang on a second, no 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 no, you're not doing this again. Right, because we saw them do it with Princess Diana, and we're like, okay, we 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 know this song, we we've heard this song before, right? The thing that really amazes me is that there's no willingness to sort of learn. Is it's like the theory has been updated, the concept has been updated. But they are not willing to update. So it's sort of like that saying, right? When people say, you know, if you hit your head against the wall and expect a different result, you're not going to get it, right? If you keep hitting your head against the wall and you're like, oh, well, well my, my, my head hurts. I have a headache. Oh, oh. Well, let me go do it again. Maybe it 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 yeah, I'll have a, a different result. No, you're not going to get a different result, right? So the firm is not learning. And I've said this before in other, in other um, episodes. They need to get rid of everyone, you know? Fire them. Get rid of them. Bring, bring in new people. New people that are not going to be Looking at you know how, how they did this in in eighteen fifty five or something, and it's, it's not even how they did it in eighteen fifty five. It's about the uh, the mindset being changed. It's about embracing diversity. It's about not thinking that you are superior 
because of the position or the place that you were born into. Right? Because a lot of this stuff is very highfalutin, sort of like, well, we are better than. No, you're not. You go to the toilet also. Right? So this whole nonsense, it, it, they, they, I, I, and to be quite honest, Cordelia, I, I, I don't know if, if they will, they would, they will learn. Right? Because they just sort of every time Megan and Harry do anything, anything that, that they do, all of a sudden they're, they're either upset or insulted or, or, or whatever. Right? And you're absolutely right. The jealousy and the envy, ooh, it's, it talks volumes, even though it's, it's pretending to be silent, right? Volumes, even these royal commentators and, 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 and whatnot. The, 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 when they comment on, well, they don't even comment, they just create an entire storyline, right? It's not even truth what they're talking about. Or if they come in on something, they just invent a whole other backstory that doesn't exist. So uh, they, they speak and you can see, I, I don't know, I, I almost feel it, right? The, the sort of like they can't believe that they haven't succeeded in what they've been trying to do for the last four, five, six, seven freaking years. I, I, I was doing some research the other day and what I came across someone's comment and it said something to the regards, um, Megan is plagiarizing the jam. I was like, okay, she, she's what? She's plagiarizing jam? Are you? Don't even, yeah, no, I'm not gonna ask the question because I'm afraid of, of the answer. So they will find any excuse, any sort of invented fantasy rather than admit the truth, rather than see what's right in front of them, right? Because if they would do that, the whole idea that they've been defending, the whole pillars that they've been standing on, the whole quote unquote identity will crumble. And then what are they left with? And again, I, 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 I mentioned that in a previous podcast, they are literally Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, basically, single-handedly, is feeding most of, or all of the royal rota and, and, and these royal experts and, and I know, talk TV and all of them, because they can't stop talking about her. They honestly, I think, depend on Megan, right? They depend on Megan and Harry for their livelihood or their Oh wow. Well. Okay, Cornelia, I think I went off there on a on a on a on a side road. Uh, <laughs> um but thank you so much for your continued support of the um, channel and thank you so much for your comments. So let's get to the next one. Okay, so this one is from Gwendolyn and there is a follow-up sort of um, from Dorothy. So uh, here's what we've got. Um, Gwendolyn writes, the British media demonstrating narcissistic personality entitled power hungry exploits for their own gain, arrogant, lacking empathy, must be admired, envious of others' success. I think this sums up the toxic British media. <laughs> I think it does. Who can take the rejection from Harry and Meghan, so they attack and try to destroy them. And Dorothy um, writes, uh, do you think the British media 
have met their match and are way out of their league? I think it's a great question. Uh, so thank you, Gwendolyn, and thank you, Dorothy. I Listen, you know, we know this, right? As I just said, they are being fed by Megan and by the Sussexes because the rest of the royal family is wah, wah. No one cares. No one cares. In order for people to kind of care, right? Unfortunately, the king got cancer. And allegedly, Kate also has cancer, right? So, you know, they needed to get cancer or get sick in order for people to kind of care a little. And I, I feel weird saying that. That's why I'm because of has hesitant in, in in kind of even saying cancer. It just <sighs> look, I I, I I, I, I take that stuff really seriously, even though I've gotten comments from the, the Rangers telling me that I'm, 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 I'm rude and inconsiderate, and I'm, I'm, I, they, they, they hope I, I die from a, 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 a harsh death and all this nonsense, um, because I've said you know allegedly and 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 that if indeed it is cancer. Look, I, I'm not, I don't know. I didn't see anyone's medical um, information. And and, and I, I'm, am I supposed to just, you know what I mean? Because we know they have lied before. We know they've, 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 they've invented stories, right? So if, you know, you're going to be yelling wolf all the time, after the third time and you yell wolf again, some of us may go, hmm, can you send us like, I don't know, an image of the wolf so we can make sure there is a wolf? So, look, what, 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 I, I'm just going to move away from, from that, you know, train of thought because I just feel, I feel uncomfortable talking about, about it for some reason and a little bit icky, for, you know. So let's concentrate on the British media. They, they're being fed. Right, because no one cares about the rest of the royal family. People care about what 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 Harry is doing. They care about what Meghan is doing. People do care about that because Harry was already the most popular royal. I mean, besides his um, grandmother, the late Queen, and there are times where he was even more popular than than the queen. And Megan already came as a famous actress with a very successful series. And not only that, you know, she had her own lifestyle blog and 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 all the other stuff that 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 she was in, involved in regards to the um the 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 UN and 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 charities and and so on. So these two are people that already were well known and 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 popular and known in a positive way. So people care about them. People care about what they're what they do. And f most people, most of us, can see that they're authentic. They're genuine in in the things that they that they support or the things that they um, embark on. They care about the charities that they are patronage of. Maybe I shouldn't use the word. Per, per, um, per, per, I can't. I can't say it now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, because that's a very sort of British thing, and. You know, they, 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 you look at what they've done in the U.S. And they get their hands dirty 
per se. They 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 go in there. They don't just show up. Oh, I'm just gonna show up and give you a little smile and a little wink here or there or a little wave. No, they they really they really do care. And and you know I I I don't know if if they've 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 met their 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 match or if they're being sort of um they're out of their league. Look, the British media is very powerful, very powerful, right? They've got an enormous amount of of, of tabloids, newspapers, and 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 it's sort of like it it it, it, it there aren't many really independent minded and and with that excellence of journalism and reporting that when it comes to the royal family or it comes to Harry and Meghan, that is not bias. I mean, it, it, it is mind-blowing to me to watch grown men, grown women, just lie out of their teeth. They just sit there and they just create these stories. And I'm, I'm going, how could you? Because even if, right, even if, because people may say, well, well, how do you know what, what, what um, the Sussexes are, or Meghan and Harry, are, when, when they say something, how do you know that they're telling the truth? How do I know they're telling the truth? Because everything they follow up with what they say. They don't tell a story or make an announcement and then all of a sudden, you know, something else happens or, or what, what they announce never occurs. No. They, when they have something to announce or a project or, or something is happening, they announce it. It's, there is a follow through and, 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 and we, we can track. We can see the outcome. We can see the things that they're producing, that they're doing. These people, you know, they'll say, oh, well, you know. Um, Harry and, 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 and Megan are not uh, talking anymore. Um, Harry has his own room at, at, at a certain hotel. And, uh, you know, he's, he's had enough of her. Uh, my sources are telling me. Uh, uh, can you verify that? Can you? And then, like, <laughs> we, 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 we see them at Invictus and the man can't take his hands off of his wife, which I freaking love. Right? He looks at her and whispers things in her ears that makes her like, you know, tingle. And I'm like, I love this man. <laughs> I'm in love with this man. I'm like, dude, you are awesome. You are awesome. He loves his wife. And let's not make a mistake, like the way she looks at him too, like, you know. She loves her husband. This is their family. So we know that they they just lie. They just invent things. And even if they're not inventing the story or 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 adding, you know, their own bias um parts to the story, the way the story is told, right? It creates the words that are used to describe certain things. They're all sort of on the negative for Megan and Harry. Because when even that incident happened in New York, oh, you know, the BBC did report on it. But the way they reported on it and the people that they choose to interview was not fair and balanced. And it also basically just fell into that whole narrative of, you know, Harry and Meghan are just these outcasts or something. So I would say that indeed, um, Gwendolyn, that they are absolutely narcissistic, you know, power hungry, 
they, they, they're, they're arrogant, their lack of empathy, and all of that. And I think what they do many times is just project, a lot of projecting, right? And Dorothy, I, I would say, have they met their match? I, I, I don't know if, if I would say they've met their match. What they've met is a woman who is very savvy, a woman who understands how the media works, and a woman who has been in that, in, in that, in that industry, right? So she is equipped a lot better than someone who has not been in that industry and understand how media works or understand how the press and all of that works. Um, but I think um, one of the big reasons, you know, of, of having Harry and Megan sort of reclaim their narrative and and only give interviews to certain um, newspapers or or um, um, cable stations or so on. Um, it is 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 part of you know being able to control their narrative and not have this you know third party kind of invent these stories or 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 there there are leaks and 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 then stories are somehow morphed into something completely different than what they are so I would I would say that I think the Sussexes are two steps ahead of them because they don't have, you know, the British media don't have any information. There's no leaks, as, as Baron says, there's no leaks in Montecito, right? So I think they have, you know, they are two steps ahead and, and, and may continue being that way. And well, you know, in 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 essence, they are they are fighting back, and I love that. And all of us here, we are part of that um, movement to make sure that um, that British UK media is 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 held accountable, or at least you know. We're able to bring to light all the lies. <laughs>